Right, welcome back to the second game of the night. Tonight's second match, we have an absolute cracker between Rangeville and Newtown. With you tonight is myself, the always brilliant Philip Goodsell. And a <laughs> Sorry, that just came out. And the colour commentary will be coming from Morgan Lee Goodsell. You might have just heard her there giggling. That's about all she does. So the time is actually on, on uh, field two at Toowoomba Hockey, and um, neither team have taken the field. Uh, on field two, we have Red Lions versus past high eighth grade women, and they've already started. They're using the most of their 17 and a half minutes in the quarter. The men now appear happy to play a 68 minute game. Looks like Range will start with the ball. And umpires tonight are Corey Mock and Liam Brown. Range will going forward early. Oh! Um. I would say I would say in the first ten seconds of the match, but due to the delay, it was actually a minute and a half in. So Range will are up one nil already. And Newtown with the ball. I, th I think it was Tom Campbell there that got that final swipe into the net, Morgan. I think you're right, Phil. Tom Campbell, of course, was one of those players from Toowoomba that made the Australian Futures squad recently. Essentially the Australian under-18 men's squad, which is quite wonderful to see. Four, four Toowoomba players came out of there. And we've seen them all play tonight, Phil. We have indeed, Morgan. And if you didn't, go back to the Toowoomba Hockey Facebook page and you'll see the live stream of the game before and you can watch those other three players play. Or, of course, you can watch the game going on right now. We'll leave the decision up to you. As Rangeville have to bring the ball back from their own 25 there. Terry Jackson uh, missing that trap there. And Newtown get an easy turnover up in their attacking quarter, aiming to go around the back here. Newtown look happy to play a bit of a patient waiting game here. Rangeville with the turnover, but can't quite turn it into anything. Matthew Sieber going to take that hit on the sideline. Josh McCall with the ball heading up the field. Tackle by Rangeville. Can't quite get the free hit though. Josh McPaul sends it to Cal McCurley Alt, who turns around and runs it back up towards Rangeville's attacking quarter. Rangeville's ball there. They're going to come out around the back. Josh McPaul there earning the free hit and looks for the long release pass. Intercept there from Carl Harland and gets the ball to, I think that's Mitch Roberts. Uh, when he turns around, I'll let you know. Hayden Jago there with the intercept, but can't quite get it anywhere than, other than a range of a stick. Rangeville looking to possess the ball around the back for a little bit here. Mitch Roberts back to Carl. And Carl goes for the overhead, but Tommy Campbell can't quite bring it down. Mm -hmm. 
16 to Rangeville now. Terry Jackson with the long ball. Releases, I think that's Hilly. Range will go on forward. And get the short corner. Range will's definitely been putting some pressure on Newtown's defence here early on. Is getting themselves sorted here in their defensive corner. All right, first corner of the night. Looks like it'll be a drag flick. Will be a drag flick. And it's oh, Polich, Polich gets something onto it, but not quite enough. And Range will go 2 0 up here. Newtown sending that ball around the back and now looking to head forward. Craig Richards with the ball. Rico looks for the long one but gets intercepted there. Possesses Maddie Sieber in a very dangerous position. Maddie Sieber manages to do the work to get back though. And a long clearance from Nathan Polich sees Newtown go on the attack here. Andrew Ward. <laughs> to Josh well McCall. said, Morgan. Nice flat stick tackle there by the Rangeville player and we're heading into the attack, unable to convert anything and it's a 16 for Rangeville. Tommy Campbell looking to bring the ball forward but can't find any gaps through and he'll take it around the back. Terry Jackson with the ball heading up the left side. Can't get it any further than Craig Richards though. Craig Richards looks to release the pass, but some great rangeful defence there shuts it down. Tom Campbell there tries to find Hilly, but can't quite do it. Newtown going around the back. Maddie Sieber there with a lovely pass to young Luke Sieber. The father-son combination linking up there well. And Newtown are going forward through Scott Richards here. At the top of the bill with, at the top of the D with a bit of pressure on him. Can't quite get that pass to Luke Sieber. A scrap down there in the corner and Newtown come away with the ball and looking to press some attack get a long corner out of it Newtown playing the patient game there 
Getting the ball out to Hayden Jager, who gets it to Josh McPaul, gets it into the circle. And Andrew Ward finishes it off there. Nice passing around there, Phil. Convert that. Yeah, I must say, Rangel's defence looked a bit weak there with the player free on the dot. But they do still hold a 2 1 lead. Pull down the line there, can't quite keep it straight enough. And Newtown will look to move out of defence now. Oh, long ball there. Andrew Ward can't quite get onto it. And Rangeville looking to move that ball around the back there, but decided to come back out to the right side. Newtown forced to turn over and come forward with the numbers. Oh, off a Rangeville foot there. And Newtown will have their first corner of the match. You'd have to imagine Josh McPaul would be asking to have a drag flick on this one, Morgan. Honestly, I'm really not sure, but I'll, I'll go with what you're saying. Sounds like most of our commentary, Morgan. Does look like that, Phil, with the setup we've got here. Paul with the flick. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Wonderful flick there. Just a touch too wide. And there's a shot there. I didn't and see there's that a was finish. From, I think that was Zach Sinton. Whoever it was, it was a lovely finish. And it's now two all here. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Been an eventful quarter here. It has, hasn't it? Field one. Not often you see four goals in the first quarter and it wouldn't normally end up two, or normally when you see four goals in a quarter, they all end up being for one team. But this is quite a good game of hockey, we must say. Right. Josh McPaul there getting the ball, but losing his stick. Poor stick security there, Phil. Yeah. Have to talk to Josh about that later. Oh, a little bit of argy-bargy there from the two gentlemen. Getting a warning there from the umpire, I think. <laughs> umpire tells them it's not needed and they appear to have moved on with their lives. Four minutes left in the quarter. Morgan, will we see another one? That's the question. Hamish Speed with the ball. Range will look to release some of their young fast forwards, but can't quite get up where they need it. And Newtown come out through that right side that served them very well so far. So after a shaky start, Newtown look like they've steadied the ship here. And we are back on level pegging as Luke Sieber comes forward. Wonderful tackle there by Cal McCurley Alt. Tackle there from Luke Sieber lets them come forward. Newtown calling for the free hit there, but play on from the umpires. Some wonderful teamwork there from the umpires. Gets a corner for Newtown. Corey Mogg down that end, not able to see it, but luckily, luckily Lee and Brown helped him out. All right, let's see if Josh McPaul has another flick here. First one hit the crossbar. 
Can't imagine he would have been happy with that. Let's see if he tries to put this one between the posts. Saved between by the keeper. Between the posts, but Will Scorer gets a glove to it. And Newtown will get a long corner. Luke Sieber looking to link up with his teammates. Finds Scott Richards in the corner. Scott Richards can only knock it down for another long corner. We'll do it all again. This time a 1-2 pass, but it gets intercepted. Newtown still with possession. Newtown still with possession, though. Oh, can only get it as far as the D. And Range will look to bring it out. Minute and a half left in this quarter. Scott Richards thought it was his free hit. Turns out he was incorrect. Intercept by Interception there Newtown from there. Andrew Ward. Looks to bring it into the D. Can't get it past the range or defence though. So. That's Carl Harland, Phil. That is Carl Harland. Some nice skills there. Wonderful little passing through the midfield here. And then they find that, that fast forward to release and get the ball going forward. Kai Hill there managing to link up with his other attackers as range will come in to try and get into the D again. But some desperate defence from Newtown manages to keep them out, although they have given away a free hit. Range will going around. Find Hamish Speed at the top, but Craig Richards manages to stop him. And throws the long ball to Josh McPaul. Sending it across with five seconds left. Five, four, three. You won't be able to get all the way into the D, unfortunately. And that's quarter time. We'll see everybody in two minutes. news. The women's A1 hockey competition is shaping up to be more competitive than ever after round two. Although they will have a break this week, training was still a go. The coming opens and under 18 state trials. Last week's upset win by the North certainly showed they're a team to beat this season. Red Lions blew their lead late in the game and say they'll need to learn to stay competitive for all four quarters. I think it was just like connecting and our communication as a team. I think we're just losing our, our calmness and we just need to stay calm under pressure. May Connor scored both goals for Red Lions last week and wants to help the girls push in attack rather than staying reserved. We need to take risks and like give it a go. Like It's how we learn and be, become better players. Both teams say the more experienced players' leadership on the field is pivotal for their team to be competitive. We were missing Rachel and Rachel's a very good player so her being gone was a bit like of a get of like a difference. Uh, it's definitely good like being one of the younger players like it's definitely good to learn off them and kind of have their experience in that within the team and yeah definitely learning new tips and tricks from them. And not even the Easter weekend is stopping the girls from training with trials for the under 18s and open women's teams coming up. Definitely good um yeah it's definitely something I've done for the last couple of years. And welcome back to the start of the second quarter of this match. Two all already between Rangeville and Newtown. Four goals in the first quarter. Let's see if they can keep up this frenetic pace. Did you just want to use that word, Phil? Do you love the word frenetic, Morgan? All right, so Rangeville with the ball. <coughs> Still in possession, heading up the right side of the field. Tommy Campbell with the ball. Tom Campbell, lovely release pass to Hilly. Hilly's looking to break into the D. Oh, just loses control outside. <laughs> New 
Newtown looking to break forward, but Cal McCurley Alt shuts that down well. Craig Richards with a lovely midfield tackle creating a turnover. And Mitch Pimenta looking to distribute. Hayden Jago with the ball, just outside the 25 there. <coughs> As Range will bring it around the back. Newtown Phil, I think, is the team you're looking for. Probably is Newtown Morgan, that's true. Well spotted, Morgan. I knew we brought you for a reason. You can go back to playing on your phone now, Morgan. This time Rangel does bring it around the back. Terry Jackson on to Tom Campbell. Tom Campbell can't quite link up with his other midfielders there. And Newtown bring it forward into the attacking 23. Lovely little touch pass there from Craig Richards. Josh, Josh McCall finds ball. himself with it in the D. Earns a short corner. So quick fact here, Phil. Josh McCall's just been away to, along with a number of other Toowoomba Hockey members, away to the Opens Championships in Brisbane. Yes. And he was the uh, highest goal scorer of the tournament. Ah. Congratulations to Josh. Looks like the rain's starting up again. That's a short corner here. Josh McCall looks like he's trapping this time. Yeah, changing it up. And drive flip attempted there by number 12. Mitch Pimenta that was, Morgan. Thanks, As Range will release the ball, can only get it to the sideline though. Hayden Jago taking the hit from the sideline. Back to Alexander and heading around the back now. KG there onto Lukey Seaver, but Cal McCurley Alt makes the intercept. Mitch Roberts looking to bring it up that left hand side. Lovely pass there to Cal. And Range will look to build some pressure. Tom Campbell may be looking a touch too long. And Luke Sieber manages to knock it over the back line. Long corner to Rangeville. Range will bring it around the back like any good A grade team should. Touch on to Cal, but Cal knocks it a bit too high into the defender. And Newtown get the turnover. No one really ready for that um, pass out there, Phil, for Newtown. And so no, it didn't look like it, did it? No. Terry Jackson will look to bring the ball in now. again. Long ball there to Cal McCurley out in the D. And Newtown managed to get rid of it, but only as far as the range for defence. Mitch Roberts there running it through a gap in the defend in the Newtown players. Gets it into the D. But yet again Craig Richards is there to mop up. Newtown looking to move forward now with it. Richards to Markey. 
Marking into the D. Straight and the range will defence clear it to Craig Richards, who gets it to Mitch Pimenta, who passes it to the other team. Tom Campbell there releases it. Kai Hill flicks it forward. Lukey Siever with the running manages to shut him down. Tom Campbell there getting a free, oh sorry, Hilly there getting a free hit for the obstruction. And Rangeville's building up some real pressure here on Newtown. Can they crack it? Bring the ball around the back. The ball goes to Carl Harland. Makes himself a little bit of space there in the middle. He's going on a run here, maybe a touch too far, but he's still got it on his stick. Finds a pass, gets the ball into the D. But Scott Richards Scott there Richards. with some elite defending. Newtown still in possession. And Cal McCurley out with the tackle. Newtown unhappy about that tackle, Phil. And appealing to Liam for a, a free hit. Unfortunately, Liam disagreed with them. As Newtown look to spread the ball out to the right. Sean Alexander there links up with Luke Siever. Couldn't quite turn it into anything and Range will look for a quick turn over here. Get the ball to Hilly, who gets the ball forward. Oh, but Luke Siever with the last touch to save, to stop Kai Hill from having a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Rainville with the hit off the sideline. Terry Jackson taking it in. Pass into the pocket. Unable to pick that up there. Rainville player there. Overhead there into a crowd though. So Range will get the ball. Carl's going to take that free hit. Oh no, actually, Terry Jackson with the free hit here. Terry Jackson passes to Mitch Roberts. And they bring it back around the back. To Harland, looking for that through pass. Finds Tommy Campbell. Newtown putting some pressure on the midfield here, but Range Wolf gets through it, looks for that long ball into the centre. Unfortunately, can't quite find it, and it gets onto a range of foot. Damo there with the intercept. Brings it back to Tommy Campbell. Range will bring it around the outside through Terry Jackson again. Terry Jackson uses speedy around the outside and they get it into the D and get themselves a corner. I believe this will be Rangeville's second corner of the game. I believe you, Phil. Too busy playing on your phone there, Morgan. You know the rule, Morgan. Second corner is the one you're always aiming to score. Carl Harland with the drag. And play. Carl Harland sinks it. Keeper not too happy about that, Phil. No, I think he got deceived by a very good change of direction there from Carl. Seven minutes left in the quarter. We are 3 2 to range for. Josh McCall with the ball, heading up the left side of the field, or actually 
Beating a few players there. Not winning himself a hit until now. Transferring out to the right. We've got Luke Seaver, is that Phil? Um, yeah, that is Luke Seaver out there. Passing it to Shawnee Alexander, who touches it on to Josh McCall. And overlaps to get himself into the D. Josh McPaul, though, can only get as far as a free hit near the top. Josh McPaul to Scott Richards. Scott Richards pops it in. Keeper clears it out, though, and Rangeville manages oh, to get it as far as Luke Seaver there at right half. Nice skills there, winning Luke's that hit. Knocks it out off Rangeville there, so we'll get another long corner for Newtown. And Rangeville bring it around the back. Sorry, Newtown bring it around the back. Struggling with that one tonight, aren't I, Morgan? Look, as much as I want to say that you need to get your eyes tested, the uniforms are similar. It is maybe it's just, a lot of blue. Maybe it's just me having to carry the commentary team. Matty Sieber there with the long pass to Craig Richards, but Craig Richards, oh, lovely little back tackle there to get the ball back, gets it into the D. And unable to convert that. Rangeville with the ball. Scott Richards there with the tackle at the top, gives Newtown another chance. But Wardy gets dispossessed. working that ball out of their defence. Terry heading. Jackson with the long ball. Oh, wonderful long ball, but the forward couldn't quite get his stick onto it well enough. Craig Richards with the ball, out to Hayden Jado, sending it back to Seba. Seba to Pimenta. Pimenta out right to Luke Seba. Luke Sieber finds Wardy up the sideline, but Rangeville managed to knock it out for the free hit. Newtown's ball on the sideline and they're attacking 25. Rangeville um, setting up, trying to block this ball in here and work it out now. Ball's out to Seba. Newtown go around the back again. Still with possession there, Newtown. They're hit. So they attack down the right side, bringing that ball into the circle or attempting to. No dice and uh, Rangeville's hit. So they um, settle the ball down and head out of defence. Terry Jackson here looking for the long pass. Instead steps off the free hit. Newtown foot there and Range will bring it forward about five metres. On the live stream we just got uh, Zippy asking about the score on field two. I'm not sure just now, but I'll see if I can uh, get an update uh, at half time. Craig Richards gets the ball to the top of the D, looking for the outlet pass. Finds, I think that's Markey on the right. But he gets dispossessed. Carl Harlan goes for the overhead, but only manages to get it as far as Craig Richards. Craig 
Craig Richards forward to Mitch Pamela. Tries to break into the D, but can't quite get there with the ball. And Range will release it out to the sideline. Two minutes left in the quarter. Oh, Josh no. McPaul with a wonderful touch, but can't quite keep it under the crossbar. Newtown keeping this pressure on up here. I'm sure they'd want to enter the um, the break at three all. Newtown put some more pressure on here. They've definitely had the pressure. They just can't quite convert it into a goal. Carl Harlan there intercepts the long ball. But Zach Sinton manages to tackle back and get the ball again for Newtown. Newtown's definitely pushing here for that goal. But Rangeville manages to release it again. Luke Seaver making a good effort, trying to grab that ball as it came across. Hamish Speed there earning himself a free hit. And Overhead. Go for the long overhead, but can't quite do what they need to with it. And that will probably end the quarter. Right. So we're going to half time. 3 2 to Rangeville. We'll see everybody in five minutes. News. The women's A1 hockey competition is shaping up to be more competitive than ever. Toowoomba Hockey Club, your club yeah. for your community. Toowoomba Hockey Club's the place where the excitement never stops. Hit the jackpot, Jack, you won't look back. You know they've got the light. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Go hockey, get lucky. Toowoomba Hockey Club, Boundary Road, Toowoomba. Hi all Toowoomba Hockey members and supporters, my name is Matt Cook and welcome to the April edition of the Regional Hockey and Coaching Manager Update. April's been a jam-packed month for Toowoomba Hockey Association, but it's been equally successful. We've got a couple of exciting announcements that we'd love to share with you. Now the first exciting announcement that we have is Walking Hockey. Walking Hockey has been confirmed to start here in Toowoomba Hockey Association. It'll start on Friday the 20th of May. And if you're interested, you can check out the flyer on screen now or feel free to send an email to coach at toowoombahockey.com.au and next week our registration links will open for this program. Stay posted. Up next, we have our Coach Education Series. Coach education is incredibly important to us here at Toowoomba Hockey Association, so we'd love to help you with your coaching for juniors and seniors. We've created some resources for all coaches throughout the association, and these will be made available in the coming weeks. If you'd like to gain some coaching accreditation, please feel free to contact myself at coach at toowoombahockey.com.au, and we'll be able to provide you with information on, on the courses that are upcoming. And finally, some exciting news coming from Hockey Queensland. Hockey Queensland have recently held their 2021 awards ceremony and Toowoomba Hockey Association is lucky enough to receive a couple of those awards. The first of these are the Team Queensland Individual Award, which went to Ryan Williams from Rangeville Hockey Club. Ryan's helped Rangeville Hockey Club and Toowoomba Hockey Association for a number of years and he's a fantastic recipient of this year's award. Additionally, Matt Sieber took out the Hockey Queensland Community Coach of the Year. Matt's been heavily involved in all things Newtown Hockey Club and Toowoomba Hockey Association over a number of years, and he's a really worthwhile recipient. Ella White also took out the Female Indoor Player of the Year for Hockey Queensland, so a big congratulations to Ella on her, who had a fantastic season last year. And the big news is Toowoomba Hockey Association was named Hockey Queensland's Association of the Year for 2021. This is an amazing achievement, and it wouldn't be possible without our fantastic members and wonderful volunteers who made this happen. Toowoomba Hockey Association is incredibly proud to bounce back from what was a tough 2020 with COVID interrupting large portions of our season to come back and deliver a really positive season last year. 
We know there's still things we can work on and we're continuing to build for an even better 2022 season. Once again, a big thank you to all our members. Have a great long weekend, guys, and we'll see you soon. News. The women's A1 hockey competition is shaping up to be more competitive than ever after round two. Although they will have a break this week, training was still a go. The coming opens and under 18 state trials. Last week's upset win by the North certainly showed they're a team to beat this season. Red Lions blew their lead late in the game and say they'll need to learn to stay competitive for all four quarters. I think it was just like connecting and our communication as a team. I think we we're just losing our, our calmness and we just need to stay calm under pressure. May Connor scored both goals for Red Lions last week and wants to help the girls push in attack rather than staying reserved. We need to take risks and like give it a go. Like it's how we learn and be, become better players. Both teams say the more experienced players' leadership on the field is pivotal for their team to be competitive. We were missing Rachel, and Rachel's a very good player. So her being gone was a bit like of a get of like a difference. Uh, it's definitely good. Like being one of the younger players, like it's definitely good to learn off them and kind of have their experience in that within the team. And yeah, definitely learning new tips and tricks. Here we go, the start of the second half of tonight's match between Newtown and Rangeville. Rangeville up 3-2. Mitch Pimenta looks for the long ball, but Mitch Roberts there with a wonderful interception. Newtown puts some pressure on him though. But Mitch Roberts is all over it, managing to earn the free hit. For those of you who aren't aware, my co-commentator tonight is Morgan Lee Goodsell. If you've tuned in in the last 15 minutes or so, you might not have heard her speak yet. That must be the first time you ever said I don't speak enough. Everyone remember this. All right, Rachel with the ball heading up into their attacking 25. Down in the pocket there. And just tapped out by Hayden Jago. And Rangel's ball on the sideline. That's a 16. New channel. Damo there was some good up. work, but can only manage to get it over the back line. Newtown going around the back again. They do enjoy the transfer, old Newtown. Josh McCall can't quite get a handle on it as they go forward. And now Range will look to apply some midfield pressure. They're intercepted there by Newtown. Mitch Roberts manages to work back onto it. Healy with a great recovery there. And Range will push forward for the D. Can't quite get a player there though to take the free hit. Alright, Rachel with the ball heading into their attack in 25. Some short passing happening Tommy here. Tommy Campbell here. Oh. Unable to get that shot off there. Tommy working back trying to grab that ball. Wonderful short passing here from Newtown. Tommy Campbell can't quite get it where he wants it. And Mitch Pimenta helps to release some pressure there for Newtown. Wouldn't you know it, Newtown goes around the back again. This time Seeves decides to look for the long pass. Maybe that's why they go around the back instead. It's going to go over the sideline down there, near the old long corner mark. So it'll be Rangel, Rangel's ball out there. Newtown looking to press that up, Phil. They are indeed, Morgan. 
Rain, rain will succumb to that pressure. Looks like we have a goal up on field two, past high school. So I believe that's the first goal we've seen. It's definitely the first goal I've seen. Um. Newtown breaking into the D through Josh McPaul, but Range will up to the task and release some of that pressure. Ooh. Hilly there goes for the Tomahawk. And uh, Corey calling that ball and um, pulling them back. Terry Jackson there trying to relieve some pressure, but Newtown managed to get it back off him. Corey calling an obstruction over there, I believe. I believe that's what it was, yes. Josh and McPaul looks to inject. Range were getting a touch on that. Neely That'll be has a long Scott corner. Richards in some space, but Cal McCurley Alt manages to touch it away from him. Josh sending that ball back to Seaver. Newtown look to in get into the D, they're in there. But some solid defending by Rangeville. And that's Rangeville's ball. And an update for the uh, A grade women's game on field two. It's past high are up 3 0. So that wasn't the first goal, Phil. Was not indeed, Morgan. And we've got Rangeville clearing that ball out of defence here. Oh. Oh. Hayden Dord winning that hit here. Hayden Jago. Oh, is, Hayden Jago. Goodness. Sorry, Hayden. Rangeville here looking to stream forward. Hilly looking for the pass. Can't quite find it though. Rangeville still in possession, heading into their attacking 25. And we have a foot. Callum unfortunately gets it onto his foot there. And Newtown with the long release to Craig Richards. Craig Richards saw the, saw the free attacker in the D, but unfortunately got intercepted. And Rangeville are back in attack. Charlie there doing some great work, but Shawnee Alexander managed to keep him in check and get the free hit. Just grabbing that ball here on field one, and Rangel taking that hit from the sideline. Tommy Campbell in a bit of space. Knocks it onto a new town foot for a rangeful free hit. <laughs> rangeful trying to go around the back, but can't quite keep the handle on it. And that'll be a new town ball. Receiver with the ball on the sideline, looking to send it across. Intercepted uh, by Jackson. And play on, says the umpire. Hamish Speed there manages to stop Newtown in their tracks. Sends it back to Carl Harland, who makes his way through three players. Wonderful stick skills there. Back to they Hamish Speed. Eventually they release Hamish Speed up that left-hand side. Range winning that free hit there. Jack Hill. Mitch Roberts sending a ball out to the pocket, but I'm able to, the striker unable to pick that up up there.
Newtown looking to outlet that pass. But range ball right there. Tom Campbell with the tackle gets to the top of the D, looking to find a range ball player. Oh, two there. They just couldn't quite get their sticks onto it. Set the overhead there. Look to link a couple of easy passes together. Pick up by Mitch Richards. Mitch Roberts trying to go a bit too long. Gets intercepted by Scooter Richards. Josh McCall with the ball. And using those skills to try and push forward, winning that hit. Turn there into the pocket. Bring it into the D, but Range will manage to get it out. Can you turn again? Newtown working that ball in. Unable to pick up that those passes. So it'll be a range will hit now. Seven and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Range will moving that ball around the back and now heading up the left side of the field. Great nice release passing. there to Hilly, but Hilly can't quite get a handle on it. Newtown Rangel. again with the ball. Rangel putting some good pressure on Newtown in defence here. Yeah. Good press leads to a turnover here from Tom Campbell. Will he, oh, Hilly just can't get enough stick to it to slow it down. And Newtown will look to outlet. Newtown just holding this ball here, looking for a pass. Shawnee Alexander goes for the release, but can't quite get it onto Gaskell in stick. Newtown setting up their press, trying to keep this ball down here. Receiver there getting the intercept, but Tom Campbell putting a bit too much pressure on him. Hamish Speed trying to break through the midfield, and Scott Richards forces the turnover. Releases to Gascoigne, who finds himself a little bit, little bit of space and gets the ball to McPaul. McPaul with some pressure on him out there. And tackled by Rangeville. Campbell there to McCurley. Cal McCurley out, looking to go forward. Dropping it out to Hamish Speed. Hamish Speed getting a lucky deflection there. Knocks it forward. Then. Oh, long corner there. Wonderful save by the Newtown defence. Rangeville here calm enough to knock it around the back a little bit themselves. Release it down into the corner. And across to Cal McCurley Old, who does a lovely spin move, but unfortunately can only knock it over the back line. They're managing to keep this pressure on um, Newtown up. Rangeville are, aren't they, Phil? They really are. The majority of this quarter has been... Been played in this 
in this Newtown defensive half. Oh, Matt Siever there with a bit of an error. And Range will look to go forward, but Matt Siever manages to make up for it. Range was long corner, let's see what they do with this. Back to Mitch Roberts. And back to Terry Jackson. Lovely passing from Rangeville around the back there. And Newtown win themselves a hit. Three and a half minutes left in the quarter. And it's 3-2 to Rangeville. Pressure by Hamish Speed Pressure here. Pressure from Hamish Speed leads to a turnover and Rangeville's going to look to turn it into something. But Tommy Campbell gets dispossessed. Bit of a scramble there in the midfield. And Newtown managed to earn the free hit. Get the ball out to Craig Richards. And finally managed to buy themselves a bit of space. Luke Siever getting that ball out on the right hand side. Sending it back to. Sending it back to Dad. Matty Siever knocks it forward. And Range will force a turnover. But Newtown have him down and dispossess. Wardy gets it into the D, but can only knock it as far as a rangeful player. Scott Richards taking it back, running the back line, shot and saved by the keeper. Back stick Thomas shot, saved, and Rangeful bringing it out. Matt Siever with the ball and Mitch Parmenta taking possession back. Luke Siever taking it up the sideline. But intercepted by Hamish Speed. Tom Campbell bringing it through the middle. Nice work back from Mitch Pimenta there, but a little bit of a stick check, says the umpire. And Rangeville are back in attack. Nearly taps it onto a foot, and Rangeville's back up here again. Early pass by Hamish Speed. We've got a short corner with a minute 15 left. Corey um, Mogg says that tackle outside the D was a little bit too explosive. I must say, Morgan, this game has been a lot more sustained pressure as opposed to the earlier game tonight. There was a bit more end-to-end. -end. This game's... This game's allowed teams to really develop through that midfield and sustain a lot more pressure. It has. In saying that, there still has been some end-to-end -end at times, um, but not nearly as much as the last game. Definitely. So we've only got one battery set up here for Rangeville on this, uh, this corner. So you'd imagine that Carl's going to have the flick then? I would. And he did, oh. and it's a goal. I think that's a hat-trick for young Carl Harland. That is 4-2 uh, to Rangeville on field one. 20 seconds left means that we might not see too much more action this quarter. Newtown attacking. Newtown attacking. Josh, Josh McFall's going to try and do something with it, but Damo shuts him down. Still with the ball, and we've got but a short corner. unfortunately doesn't get five from the free hit and gives away a short corner with no time left on the clock. So we won't be going to quarter time. We'll play out this short corner here on field one of Toowoomba Hockey with Newtown having a shot. Or having a corner, sorry. Hopefully a shot. Well, I'm sure Newtown will be aiming to shoot. Rangeville, on the other hand, will be trying to probably stop that shot, you'd imagine, Morgan. You would think so, Phil. But look, anything's possible. Well. All right, so Newtown setting up here. 
single battery. Yeah. Let's see if McPaul's going to have the flick or if they're going to look to lay off. Richard's either side of him. Josh McPaul for the drag flick, saved by the keeper. The deflection was grabbed, we had another save. It's a bit of a scramble in there. And we've got a, oh, we've got cheers from Newtown for a goal, but um, Liam Brown calling a free hit, no goal. So we're gonna enter quarter time, 50 seconds left at the time break at 4-2 to Rangeville. We'll see everybody in about 30 seconds. All right, and welcome back after that long and arduous break. I know some of you must have been missing my voice. So I, we decided to come back with three seconds left. And here we go to start the fourth quarter, 4-2 four to Rangeville. Newtown will start. All right, Luke Seager with the ball. Attempting an overhead, but unsuccessful at this point. Matt Sieber there to grab that ball back into possession. Now we're heading up the left side with Ray, um, Newtown heading up the left side. And we're up in attack. We have a hit just outside the circle for Newtown. Richo here looking for a quick pass. Finds McPaul who gets it into the D, running that baseline well. Unable to get that hit there. Well, the attempted release overhead goes straight to Craig Richards. Puts it into Wardy. Oh. Josh McCall with the ball. After a save from the Rangeville keeper. A shot from Scott Richards. Luke Sieber sending the ball back in. And Richo not quite getting a hold of the shot the way he wanted there. And it's a 16. Rangel trying to go up the sideline there, but Hamish Speed couldn't quite keep his feet under him. Mitch Pimenta still with the ball, looking for a pass back to Matt Sieber. Matty Sieber puts it onto Kai Hill's foot. Seaver goes the long ball for Scott Richards. Scott Richards only gets it as far as Terry Jackson and Rangeville will try to break out. Hamish Speed with that ball down the left side. Jack Hill puts a foot on it there. And so Newtown will manage to take possession back. Luke Seaver back to Shawnee Alexander. Shawnee Alexander out wide to Jago. Jago goes up the line to Craig Richards. Craig Richards leaves it there for Josh McPaul. What a nice guy. Josh McPaul still with the ball. Dispossessed and Rangeville looking to move forward. Here, looking to build something in the midfield. Tom Campbell and Cal McCurley out linking up. Cal being a bit generous there with Tom's speed. Newtown get the free hit. Seeds knocks it up to Richo again. This time Richo decides to trap it before moving it on to Josh McPaul. Josh McPaul getting fancy. And it's a short corner. Oh, 
All right, let's see if they have a, having a chat at the top there, Phil, to work out what they're gonna do. Newtown, that is, sorry. Yeah. Considering their last four have been Josh McPaul with a flick, I'm gonna back Josh McPaul with a trap this time. <laughs> Again, Richards each side. Well, the drag out doesn't come out properly and I can't imagine that that is what Newtown were aiming for. Umpire just explaining to the defenders that he can't, that the defender can't go over the 25 with the mask on, which is why Newtown's got that free hit. Um, Who's that? Shawnee Alexander that Shawn? trying to bring it forward, earns himself a corner. I'm thinking, Phil, that Newtown will try and trap this this time on the top. I, I, I imagine, leave I imagine that will be their intent. I think leaving it didn't work for them for this one. So Josh McPaul looks like he's about to have a trap, and is that Mitch Parmenta? Beside him there, Phil? Um, I think it is there, Morgan. It's number 12 anyway. Let's oh, no, see I'm how he goes. It's Mitch. It is Mitch. Alright, Josh with the trap. Mitch with the flick. And Mitch we've got loads up and puts it in the net. Turns around and says to Josh, that's how it's done. So it's now 4-3 to Rangeville. Oh. And there's 12 minutes left in the game. All right, Newtown will be looking to push the tempo a bit here while Rangeville wants to settle it down. Take their opportunities as needed, but at this point, Rangeville will be looking to make sure that they're setting good defences and good presses. Newtown's got the ball. Are they going to look to go around the back? No. Sean Alexander goes up the line. Doesn't quite get it as far as he would have wanted. Just finding that ball in the gutter over there, Phil. Looks like they've found it there, Morgan. A scramble down there in the corner, but Cal McCurley off manages to earn himself a free hit. Looks to go out through Damo, but Josh McPaul's there to eat it up. Damo does really well there to earn himself a free hit. They'll bring it around the back through Carl. I'm guessing this one's going to Mitch Roberts. No, Carl goes for the long one, pulls out the nine iron, and unfortunately puts it in the bunker. And they're bringing that up, Phil, to where that hit was taken. Is that correct? Uh, that does appear to be what they're doing, Morgan. Overhead from Siva, but Richard's unable to bring that one down, and it'll be Rangel's ball on the sideline. I think Craig's starting to look a little bit soft there. I think he might be running out of juice or the, the old muscles aren't working as hard as they were 60 minutes ago, Morgan. Cal McCurley out, streams forward, finds a good pass. Newtown managed to release the pressure just for a second as Terry Jackson brings it forward. Earns himself a free hit. Mm -hmm. Terry with the ball. Goes to Tommy Campbell, who goes out wide to Jack Hill. Jack Hill tries to get into the D, but lifts it a little bit too much and creates a dangerous situation. And Rangel putting that pressure onto the Newtown defence. Scott Richards with a lovely crossfield pass. Damo manages to tap it out of the reach of Josh McPaul. Oh no, my apologies, Josh McPaul got to stick onto that one. Yeah. Transfer here from Rangel. 
quick transfer, trying to get it out of their defence. Up Charlie the line to there, Charlie. Great pass from Charlie. Oh. The range will forward their stop for a bit too long and allow Matty Seaver there to get the ball off him. And Newtown now heading back into attack again. Scott Richards with the ball and Scott into the Richards circle. Scott Richards at the top. Gets it to Markey, but the Rangeville defenders knock it out. Newtown looking to put some real pressure on here. Richards to Pimenta, Pimenta to a Rangeville player. Sean Alexander though with the turnover, takes it down to the T-spot. Sends it in. But Rangeville managed to knock it out for another long corner. And here's Mitch Pimenta. Gets it to Scott Richards. Scott Richards heads for the T spot. This is feeling a bit repetitive. And Rangel managed clear to release it, out. it again. And Who's going to Newton. take this free hit? Looks like it's Luke Cedar this time. Newtown's ball on the sideline in that attacking 25, looking for a way to get that ball right. in. Luke Cedar gets intercepted there by Tommy Campbell, and Tommy Campbell gets the free hit. And Reigns will just settle in. Roberts his looking down. to settle the tempo a little bit here. Seven and a half minutes left in the quarter. Goes for the long ball, but the forwards can't quite get their sticks onto it. Matt Sieber looking for the release and sending it across to the left half or left. Hayden Jago there gets it up to Craig Richards. Craig Richards gets himself a free hit on the sideline. And Scott Richards, oh, oh, slid in there for the deflection as a shot. Scott Richards there snuck around the outside, but the keeper manages to save the shot. Still a Newtown ball though, and Scott again with the Scott ball. Scott Richards goes for the T spot again, brings it back inside, dispossessed by Rangeville again. Tom Campbell goes for the Tomahawk, and Josh McCall manages to get there and put it over the sideline. Josh McCall knocks it over the sideline again. This time, Tommy Campbell gets past him. Down in the Rangeville attacking 25. Can't quite link up with the forwards though, and that'll be a 16 to Newtown. Matt Sieber working the ball out. Nice touch by Newtown, nice. Working Tackle together. Dylan Gascoigne. Oh, three on one, but unable quite to. Couldn't link up enough. Terry Jackson brings it forward. Langeville here looking to move it forward themselves. Rangeville still with the ball. And. Sean Alex. Was that Sean Alexander? It was, with a lovely tackle and release. Nice, yeah. But only manages to get over the sideline. Five minutes left in the quarter. All right, Rangeville with this ball in the attacking 25. Looking for a way to get into the D. Newtown getting the free hit there. Unfortunately, they take, they took it from the wrong spot and can't quite break away with it. Josh McCall goes over. Well, and we've got Newtown in the circle. Shot on goal, saved. Andrew Ward takes the shot, but can't quite finish. Still with possession there, Newtown, but intercepted by Rangeville. To Tom Campbell, who gets it to Hamish Speed. Hamish Speed gets it back to Tom Campbell. He'll settle it down in midfield there a little bit. Craig Richard channeling outside there. Long ball can't quite get to Jack Hill as a forward. And Newtown will get it 16. Four minutes left in the quarter. Rangeville 
Rangeville's ball on the sideline there. Rangeville got a touch on it there, so that'll be Newtown's ball again. Newtown looking to apply some real pressure to to the free hit. It's Rangeville's ball, Phil. Well spotted, Morgan. Terry Jackson with the crossfield transfer. Gets it to Damo. Damo up to Hilly. Hilly back to Damo. Range was still in Hamish possession. Speed. Backstick pass across the D. And Range will unable to get a touch on that as it crossed, crossed the goal. And it's Newtown's ball. Three minutes left in the quarter. Newtown's running out of time here. Scott Richards with the ball. Newtown Pass. keeping it calm, definitely not panicking. Craig Richards gets a free hit in midfield. Looks for the long pass, finds McPaul. And that's a long Tackled corner. Tackled there for a long corner. And Newtown will look to apply the pressure. Bring it around the back, up to Luke Seaver. Attacking in on the right side. Newtown's hit again. Cal McCurley, I've got his foot onto it there. Seaver back to Alexander. Alexander knocks it in. And it's a short corner. Short corner for Newtown. Bit of... um. Uncertainty there, as uh, I think the mics for the umpires might not be working there, Phil, 100% tonight. No, it appears they had to use the old visual communication there in order to come to the right decision. Alright, Pimenta looks like he'll be taking the flick again this time. Looks like it, Phil. Josh with the oh. ball is having a shot. Just was wide. Was that a keeper save or was that the post? Oh, I'm not sure, Phil. Oh, here we go. Range was streaming forward. Great running there from Hayden Jago. They manages to shut it down a bit. Range was still with the ball though. Gets into the D. That's Gets themselves a free outside, hit outside. Looked like it might be a corner, but. The umpires call it a free hit outside. 40 seconds left. You'd think at this point that Rangel will be looking to slow the game down. All right, 30 seconds left. Rangel coach is screaming for them to get back and work hard. Newtown with the ball and they'll be looking for a way up the field. Interception there by Cal McCurley. Oh, oh it did get his foot though. And Newtown again. 12 with the seconds. Ball. Overhead. Menta goes for the long one, but Damo brings it down, and that will probably finish out the game. Range will keep it. 3, 2, 1. So we end this game. Range will 4, Newtown 3. Um, at the end of our, our game here, I think we should say uh, thank you to all our match officials tonight on both games and our match directors, Jade Skews and Lynn Mogg, tonight for both games. Um, our wonderful camera operator and um, all four of our umpires and also our players. Josh Hugman here, we need to do give a special shout out to as our camera operator. Also, thank you to anybody who stayed with us and managed to listen to Morgan for this long. Have a great night. <laughs>